AIW for not inviting the birthday girl's new boyfriend on the upcoming trip? So I have a friend, let's call her Ashley, and she has a birthday coming up. About eight mutual friends, and I have planned a small trip to celebrate, but we will need to fly there, and we have decided to book an Airbnb. We booked the flights in Airbnb about two months ago, but during that time, Ashley told us about her new boyfriend, whom she recently started dating. Last weekend, we had a group meeting about things we planned to do in town or places to eat at, but Ashley brought up her boyfriend. She asked if he could come too, to which we all said that's fine. After the Zoom meeting, Ashley called me in private, as I have been the de facto coordinator for everything. She explained how she wanted to bring her new boyfriend along. Okay, that's fine. We can make changes to reservations and see if the Airbnb owner has an air mattress we can borrow, I said. You don't get it. My boyfriend didn't know about this trip, and he doesn't have the money needed for a plane ticket and to chip in for the Airbnb and everything, she said. So what? Are you saying we should pay for his stuff too? I asked, well, yeah, it's not fair to him because he hasn't had time to save up for this trip. Well, I'm sorry, but we only met this guy three weeks ago and didn't factor him into the trip. I get it's your birthday trip on us, but asking the group to cover your new boyfriend is a bit much. Can't you just go this time and he can join us on a trip later this year? No, how can you ask me to go on a trip without him? That's very wrong morally, and my parents would find it weird that I'm going on a trip with guys that aren't married. Just to clarify, the total group of nine includes four guys and five girls. But we're all friends, so it's not going to be weird. You were fine with this two months ago, so why are you all about morals now? It's because I have a boyfriend now, and I wouldn't feel right leaving him while I went on a trip with you guys. So I honestly think we should chip in to pay for his expenses. Okay, then why don't you pay for him? I asked. You can't make me pay for my own boyfriend on my birthday trip. On top of that, Ashley has requested that our friend Kimberly sleep on the sofa rather than the arrangement that Ashley and Kimberly share the master bedroom. But Kimberly pitched in extra money so she can have a bed. Now you're asking her to downgrade to the sofa, I asked. It's only proper. If boyfriend's name comes along, then obviously he should be staying with me, Ashley said. I lied and told Ashley I would consider it, but then secretly asked several members of the group what she had said and what we should do. Most are very upset over this and say Ashley is out of line, and if she wants her boyfriend to come that badly on such short notice, then she needs to pay up. However, one friend thinks we should be a bit more compassionate and reminds us that this was our treat for her birthday. So if we all pitched in, it wouldn't cost us all that much. I take the lead and say that she's being unreasonable and am planning to tell her to pay for her boyfriend's travel if she wants him to come along. So, are we wrong for refusing to invite Ashley's boyfriend along unless she pays for it herself? Reply, not wrong. She is asking permission to bring a guest at the last minute. That's okay if there is room and it doesn't inconvenience anyone. However, asking permission, not seeing a problem with inconveniencing others, and expecting them to pay for her boyfriend on top of it, is incredibly entitled. She needs to be firmly told in a group meeting that the boyfriend is only allowed if he covers his costs and doesn't disrupt the previously arranged sleeping arrangements. If she wants to get high and mighty on morality, I would question her thinking her parents would be okay with her sleeping with someone she has only been dating for two months if they also have issues over her going on a trip with unmarried men. She is deliberately trying to manipulate the situation to get her way, and her arguments are pretty flimsy. She should appreciate having friends willing to plan such a great birthday present and accept that either her boyfriend pays his own way or stays home. Surely he could borrow the money from someone he knows and pay them back if he wants to go badly enough. If not, then she can cover his expenses. Otherwise, he stays home. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's story, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible Reddit tales. Share your thoughts or your own experiences in the comments below. I love hearing from you all. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring those amazing stories.